If you're absolutely sure that you never want future pregnancies, the birth control options in this video might be just what you're looking for. The reason why? Because they're permanent. Let's find out more about them. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Graham Dersna. So far, all of the birth control methods that we've learned about have been reversible. And although the Nexplanon and IUDs are over 99% effective, they still require replacement every 3 to 10 years. Instead, some people prefer a permanent option so they'll never have to think about birth control again. The two permanent options in this video are surgical procedures and are over 99% effective. Finally, we'll learn about abstinence, or engaging in sexual activity that cannot lead to pregnancy, which, when followed exactly, is the only method that is 100% effective. While you're watching, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Sterilization is the medical term for permanent birth control. In females, it requires surgery to remove the fallopian tubes. You may know it as tying your tubes, because the original surgery was performed by tying sutures around the tubes. There are several ways to perform the surgery, but now the most common method is to remove the tubes entirely. The surgery is generally performed in two ways. The first is during the day or two after you deliver your baby, and it only requires a small incision below your belly button about one inch in length. The second is any time you're not pregnant using laparoscopy, which is to make two to three small incisions on your abdomen and inserting a camera and other tools to see and remove the tubes. Once the surgery is done, the method is easy to use because there's nothing you need to do. It is invasive because it requires the surgery. You can't have the surgery if there are health factors that prevent you from undergoing surgery and if you are not completely sure that you don't want future pregnancies. Some questions you can think about to help you decide include If your current children were to pass away, would you want more children? And if you were to have a new partner and they wanted children, would you want children with them? If you answer yes to either of the questions, you should not have the surgery. This option is hormone-free and does not affect your menstrual cycle. If your tubes are just burned or blocked, then there are no health benefits. But if you have the tubes entirely removed, then it decreases your risk of ovarian cancer. There are no health risks to the option itself, but there are risks to having surgery which should be considered. There are generally no side effects, and you don't need to remember to do anything during sex. If your surgery involved blocking the tubes, then technically it is reversible, but it may not be successful, and you'll have an increased risk of ectopic pregnancies. If your tubes were removed, then it is permanent. It is completely private, other than the small scars on your abdomen. A vasectomy is the other permanent option. It is currently the only birth control option available for males. It involves a urologist making two small incisions on the scrotum to access the tubes that connect the testes to the penis and cutting them so that sperm cannot leave the testes. During ejaculation, there will still be semen, but it will not contain the sperm. Once the procedure is complete, there is nothing else to do. It is invasive, but the procedure is even easier than the surgery to remove the fallopian tubes. It's done in the office and only takes about 20 minutes. Similar to tying the tubes, you should not have the procedure if you're not totally sure about preventing future childbearing. It's hormone-free. Since the male partner is having the procedure, it will not affect the female partner's menstruation. There are no health benefits. Health risks would include the same risks as any procedure, such as failure or infection. There are generally no side effects. You do not have to remember to do anything else. It is technically reversible, but may not be successful. And it is totally private. Abstinence is the method that involves not engaging in any form of sexual activity. This makes it 100% effective, but if you want to be sexually active, then it can be extremely difficult to restrain yourself. A similar option is to only engage in sexual acts where it's not possible to become pregnant, such as oral or anal sex. Both options, abstinence or only performing specific sexual acts, are not invasive and anyone can use them. They are hormone-free and have no effect on menstruation. Abstinence itself has no health benefits or risks. Performing specific sexual acts do not have health benefits but do come with the risk of getting a sexually transmitted infection. There are no side effects to these options. You must have the self-control to maintain your abstinence or to only perform the sexual acts that don't lead to pregnancy every time. They are reversible as you can change your mind anytime, 
but they are not private because you have to tell your partner what acts you're willing to do or not do. As a bonus, there are actually two more options that can be used, although they're not meant to be a first choice. They are emergency contraception and termination. Each will be covered in their own dedicated upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Now hit that subscribe button and like the video. Then check out this other video to keep learning.